Hi, scrapbookers, my friends, my virtual friends. Uh, hello, <laughs> I'm Katie Scott, and I make real-time scrapbooking videos where I will make the entire page as I'm talking about both making the page and lots of other stuff. So this is the page we're going to make today. It's kind of a goodbye to summer because today for us was the first day of the school year. So hopefully I will um, put a, a post up on my blog, which is called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, which will show the whole um, layout. So you'll be able to see that. I'm trying to get back to blogging. And um, yeah, so what, what I used for this page, to make this page, was the kit I made using the Counterfeit Kit Club blog challenge as inspiration. And I made a video about how I made how I made the kit and how I put that together. And so this is the finished page. And I make it as I just ramble on about making the page and what else I've been up to. I talk about Week in the Life, um, which is going on now. So, okay, go get your stuff. Let's make a page. Let's do it. I'm trying to get back into the habit of daily scrapbooking. So let's go. Let's do it. Let's make scrapbook pages. Okay. Get your stuff. Let's go. Hey, scrapbookers. It's Katie Scott, and today I'm going to be working with my um, kit that I made based on August, the August Counterfeit Kit Club Challenge. So I'm back to my original seating position. The last video that I did in my other where I can stand up, I got a comment that it looked like the person was falling. So I'll see if this works better. Let's see if, <laughs> see how we do. Uh oh, I already got water onto my paper. So I have some cardstock that I'm not happy with the background anymore. So I've just made a whole drawer full of. Oh, this is totally leaking. I went to get some water. <laughs> well, that's not good. Um. And I put it in the little cup that, like, you know those little cups that come on top of, um, like, hairspray or whatever? Yeah, that's totally leaking. <laughs> well, that's annoying. So what I'm going to do is, so the challenge was to start with a white piece of paper. And now I have a big <laughs> wet spot on my desk. How fun. That's not very fun. So I'm just going to kind of wash this paper with the wet wash with the wet paper towel even though that's not what I planned to do and then I'll just get a little bit of oh I think let's just use that paper towel in the blue paint so I'm gonna start with some of just a little bit of paint here and I think what I'd like to do is maybe add some, oh, I don't know. I was going to say orange up here, but then I'm almost second guessing myself immediately. So I'm going to go for the, the red, I think, or I guess it's a, it's still orange. To kind of look like a sunset kind of a color. Let's get some more of that blue. I like the blue. I kind of hate the orange. Let's see. Try this. Okay, that's more like a yellow. And then let's go with the darker orange up here. So sort of like a rainbow. Oops, that went a little too far. That's not good. Let's, let's just pull the rest of those colors over to that side. I didn't mean to do that. So I haven't, um, excuse me, <coughs> pardon me, been scrapbooking in a little bit. Not like a huge amount of time has gone by, but in the last week of summer, I really didn't, um, so I'm just doing a, an entire rainbow. There we go. Okay. And we didn't do, I just didn't do a lot of scrapbooking just because I kind of wanted to soak up the rest of the summer. So <laughs> I am going to go ahead and dry this, and then I'll be right back, and we will be making a scrapbook page. 
about saying goodbye to summer because summer's over for us. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with my dry um, cardstock and <laughs> it is a little, it's not totally crinkly, but it's a little curled where it, it really wasn't before. So that bugs me a little bit just in making the page and then photographing the page later, it's just gonna be a little more challenging <laughs> to photograph that. But when I do that, I'll just tape um, the layout down to the surface um, before I photograph it. So I hope the light's okay. I have a new Ot light and I have mixed feelings about it. I'm not sure that I completely love it, but I heard that it was really great, so I got one. Okay, let's pick some things here. Best ever, stay gold. So, I like that, I, the idea of it, because it's kind of like a golden. So let's pull that one. And then kind of what I want to do on this layout is to express my sadness that summer goes so fast. So this is my kit. And I made a, I, there is a video showing the kit. I think I like that word shine so I'm gonna pull that one I think you're getting like some of this is like way too bright hold on just move the the art light a little bit hold on you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a like kind of a something around it so it isn't so glary hold on just a second Okay, I'm back, and I kind of wrapped a towel, like a paper towel around my hot light, so hopefully I won't start any fires. <laughs> so right now I just kind of want to um, pull out a couple of gold things, and so I'll pull out three, and then, let's see, I don't know what else, maybe something journal on or I don't even know I'm not sure so one of the things I've been doing this summer is getting rid of all of my like little scraps but it's so funny because as I've been going through them I'm like oh I should totally like I never really go for the scraps so I'm saving them but not using them do you do that apparently I do that <laughs> so well, actually, while I'm making this layout, because the paper did get so wonky, I'm just going to actually tape it down to the surface here, to my cutting mat, because I think that it's going to bug me a little bit. But yeah, I, I prepared a whole um, bunch of things to get rid of, and then I, I emailed my friend today and said, it's at my office, come and get it, and she was super excited. Um, all right. Oh, these are tags. This would be kind of cute. So what I'm kind of envisioning here is, here's the photos, and then I think my journaling is going to go here, and then I want some things sticking out from behind the photo with maybe like summer 2015 down here. But I think I would like to have the photos kind of matted on different things. So let's go for the tags. Otherwise, if I wasn't working with the kit, I might work with, um, I might instead, no, I don't like that, work with a bunch of these scraps that I've, I came across recently that I was like, I should totally use these. Um, I did get rid of a bunch of them, but there's still a horde of scraps. <laughs> um, let's use these maybe. I don't know. So today was the first day of school. So it really is kind of like the official goodbye to summer. Stay 
Bay Gold will go up here. And what I'm realizing is today was also the first day of Week in the Life with Allie Edwards. So I decided, because I didn't even know it was today, and then I listened to the Scrap Gals podcast, and I happened to put that on this morning while I was working out, and um, they, they said it was the first day of um, A Week in the Life, so I was like, well, let me start taking some pictures. So I did start taking pictures, and now I kind of want to just you know, start in on that right now, but I need to print the pictures, and I haven't been printing at home, so I'm going to need to order them. So what needs to get back into my routine is the photos. So I used to be really great at organizing the photos. I did the whole Stacy Julian Library of Memories thing, and I still have all those books, but I haven't updated them for years. <laughs> now it's really been years. So there's Stagold. Okay. And so I think that one of the things I want to do, like even today or this week at least, is to go through those old Library of Memories storage binders and like clear those out and make room for new photos and then start a habit of, you know, printing photos. And really, like, I need to get a good system for printing the photos that I'm taking with my iPhone. Because those are really, like, I really want to scrapbook with those. Because they're, um, they're, you know, really the photos that are, seem like what's representing my life lately. So that's what's going to be. S-U-M-M-E-R and I'm wondering if this is even going to kind of if, like I don't think the letters are going to stick that well to that surface that I watercolored S-U-M-M-E-R. So this is kind of going to need something underneath there. But at least that kind of got started. Alright. You know, I, I think what I am going to do is grab one of my scrubs. I shouldn't do that. I should just stick with the plan, right? Let's stick with the plan. Let's resist the temptation. So I need a piece of cardstock that's kind of going to go under this. Let's do... These are my... The papers. What am I going to do? I kind of like these. Those are cute. Oh, and this was watercolor cardstock. I didn't even have to go out of my kit. I shouldn't have done that. I guess I just figured, because I usually don't have the cardstock right on hand, so, um, yeah. So I just automatically went to this new drawer that I made that's just for... Um, I didn't do what I said I was going to do. Get a piece of paper. Hello. Um, but it's just for white pieces of paper. I just don't feel like I want to cut into 
a whole piece of paper. So I do have these scraps that are just um, organized. They're long, skinny scraps. So let's find something just quickly here. Okay, so that kind of gives me a, a base to put all that summer stuff on. Oh, there's my dog. Anyways, I am going to be participating in the week in the life. So what I think I'm going to do is take the pictures and jot down some random thoughts, you know, from this week. And then next week... There's summer. Does that look straight? It doesn't seem like it does. Um, and then next week, I'll actually put my week in the life together. In the past, I've done it all at once. And I actually think that's pretty difficult to do. So because I'm not printing at home, I'm not even going to try. So just trim that up a little. And then let's add... Just a few more kind of random bits back here. And see, I feel much easier with just using these because they're already cut. And they're just sitting in this drawer waiting to get used, which I know theoretically so is that 12 by 12 paper. <laughs> but I don't know. Pattern paper psychosis. Hoard it, hoard it, hoard it, and then get rid of a whole bunch of it and just say to somebody, come and get it. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so that was one of my thoughts is like, I'm so, I even like, I'm so diligent about keeping all of my scraps, and then I don't really even use them. So what is the point of that? <laughs> there is no point. So, I do have a bag that I keep in my um, laundry room, or kind of like our old laundry room, um, that is for Goodwill. And so, I, I just recently added, so I have two bags in that room now. And one of them is stuff that is going to Goodwill. And then the other bag is a bag full of scrapbook stuff that I can bring to my office and then put up a little note on Facebook. And then I have several friends who will come and, you know, want to get it. So I'm going to be trying to purge my supplies more often. And unless Wimsadoodle has a garage sale soon. I am not planning to go out and buy anything for a while. So, just gonna try to blow through stuff that I already have. <laughs> Which shouldn't, shouldn't be hard, because I have a lot of stuff. It's true. Okay, let's see about.
thing I think I want to get though, or I just, you know, said I wasn't going to get any more things. But one thing I think I do want in my scrapbooking room is a stapler that I can rely on. So I do have a stapler in here, but it's a little, it's just like a regular office supply stapler. And I don't know how well it works. Let's see. I like to go like this because I've seen um, like process videos where after the scrapbooker has kind of gotten everything where they want it, they just staple it. All right, that worked okay. They like just staple all those letters, to, the layers together. Okay, that worked okay. <laughs> no need to go getting anything. Seriously. So this has dates. That's awesome. That's Teresa Collins Studio Gold. Yay for dates. So let's do some rub-ons and that will be the title. And then after that, I will... Oops. So I do think I want to go ahead and put away Um, put this, the random scraps away. So those weren't really from my kit, but that's okay. But I would kind of like to be able to just stick to the kit, you know? Because then you don't have to get up, and the less decisions you have, like the better it is, the faster you go. It's a great theory. <laughs> I can always put it into motion. Okay, so this will be, maybe I'll do like June, July, August 2015. Because I'm kind of going to sum up the summer. Somebody coming. <laughs> you hear all that? Hold on. Hello. I'm back. So my son has homeschool, and which means um, we don't generally do any homework. So in the evening, <laughs> and the other thing is we've taken away the... I might put the date up here. Maybe like something like this. What do we think of that? I think I like that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we took away all of their devices and we also took away Um, the TVs in their rooms. So <laughs> he kind of doesn't know what to do with himself in the evening, I think. Um, trying to, oops, okay, that's down. I didn't really mean for that to go down, but it's down. So we're going to leave it. And then I want to, oops, I can't move this around. Forget about that. These are rub-ons. Anyways, we took away all of their devices and the TV's in their rooms. So we, we kind of are going like, you know, boot camp right now to get them back into the mood of school, but as a result, 
Oh gosh, that really didn't. That moved a little. I thought I had a different kind of, um, excuse my reach, here it is. Okay, this one's plastic. So I have a little love-hate relationship with Rowan's. I always kind of mess them up. All right, 2015. Yeah, so today was our first day of school, first day of homeschool. My daughter goes to school, my son is homeschooled, and I homeschool him. So I spent the entire day with him. <laughs> and I said, I need some mommy time. So I'm going to try to incorporate some me time into my daily routine, both in the form of exercise and also um, back to daily scrapbooking, so which is something that I used to do, and for some reason, over the last year or so, I've gotten out of that daily routine of scrapbooking, so I want to put that back into my routine. I have high hopes of making lots more videos, and um, doing blog posts, and lots of layouts and just continuing that purge that I started over the summer and a lot of like fine-tuning reorganization. So I actually have like lots of spaces where stuff can go, but I don't think everything is as optimal as it could be. I've been in this new scrapbooking space for I guess about two years now, but it still feels new to me. I'm going to use this little cut little diamondy thing, which I'm not sure I like that motif, but it goes with the colors of this page, so why not? We'll use it. getting a storm. So yeah, this summer went by fast and the weather has been rainy for the last, I don't know how long, but it's been like kind of an indoor summer, of like a ho-hum, not much doing, which kind of like, you know, I, I had a bunch of time, but I didn't use it to scrapbook. So I want to get back into my scrapbooking habit. Okay, I'm feeling like this is a little awkward, but I'm also feeling like I don't care. <laughs> and that's the way to do scrapbooking faster, <laughs> is to care less. Anyways, this is just like little envelopes, which kind of like a little, um, I don't know. Oh, that's cute. There we go, we'll tuck that underneath. Actually like that more than I expected I would. So what else can I tell you? <laughs> I have 
missed you, my scrapbooking, my virtual scrapbooking buddies. And I hope to see more of you this coming school year. I think um, I think that will be good for all of us, me especially. I need to get back into routines, like a love hate with routines, you know. Like they really are. I'm much more productive if I have a lot to do than if I don't have a lot to do. And I think that was one of the problems with this summer. It wasn't really a problem, but I mean, it was a fine problem to have. <laughs> it's a first world problem, as Weird Al would say. We went to the Weird Al Weird concert um, this past week. And of course we loved it. I love Weird Al. My son's always like, are you actually in love with Weird Al? I'm like, yes, kind of. <laughs> Just being honest, yep, I am. I love him. I have a big old crush. In a, in a, I really admire him kind of a way. You know. Okay. So, I'm so starting to be more okay with this. Okay. Whoops. Got stuff flying here. I feel like I want one more more dimensional thing down here. And then I will start maybe something like this. Ideally, I should have a another diamond shape. But um, we will go for a triangle instead. Or a couple of triangles that kind of point to my kids. Yeah, I could do that. I'm cool with that. Maybe just one more down here. So we have the magic number of three, right? Okay, I'm pretty good with that. It's weird to not be able to move the paper around, you know, because usually I'm able to do that. But since I tapped it down, can't do that. So what, is I, what else can I tell you? Um, yeah, so I'm doing Week in the Life. I want to get back to scrapbooking more. I am excited to do that and I hope to be making more videos. Although it's one of those like don't hold your breath <laughs> because I really, I am very sporadic with my video making. Sometimes I'll do a ton and then sometimes I won't do much. So hold on just a sec. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, I just, you just have to be aware. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get comments and they'll be like, oh, I'm so glad you're back to, mess to, to videotaping. And then I'll go for a long time again without, it's not related to the comments. I'm really, I love the comments. I love to hear from you and know what you're thinking and what you're up to. Tell me if you're doing the week in the life. I'd love to know that. Um, but yeah, I'm just not very consistent. So maybe I'll get a little more consistent with it this year. So usually I would keep this crazy little piece. I'm gonna keep it anyways. Blah. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. All right, here's like a, what do you call these things? A label sticker. Oops, look at that. Hard to move around. So I kind of want to tuck this under this part, so over this. Yeah, it's storming out there. I think I heard that if it storms during the summer, then it's less likely to be a hurricane kind of a fall, so I guess I'll take the rainy summer, even though it was kind of 
annoying to live through. It was super rainy. So rainy this summer. And we didn't go really go anywhere. My daughter and my husband went on a trip, but I didn't go anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and untape this and then do my journaling and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished um, the journaling and this says, the summer of 2015 is over now. And today was the first day of 2000, the 2015-2016 school year. This photo was taken as the summer started at St. Pete Beach. We went to Blizzard Beach, Venice Beach to collect shark's teeth, and Allison and Charlie went to the Keys. And then I listed a bunch of things that we did, like Grammy's 91st birthday, we saw a vacation, the, the remake movie, Comic-Con in Tampa, watching anime on Adult Swim, making YouTube videos, and not only did I do that, but the kids were doing that, um, sleepovers, Minecraft, Shell Island, and the Little Island, boat rides to sea critters, the gypsy pony water ride, the Weird Al mandatory fun tour, and Jurassic World. And so there's, we're just like a few of the things we did over the summer. So that's the page. Ta-da! So hopefully I'm back. <laughs> so I hope that if your summer's still going, you're still having fun. And if you're back to school, I hope you're enjoying your new routine. Um, please leave a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see or what you're up to. If you're doing a week in the life, I'd love to know. Um, okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.